Um, good morning, children. Today, I'll be reading the autobiography of the great Indian Buster. And over the week, the list has been very well explained. And this video is uploaded so that uh, it remains on record and a constant hearing, you all can get to read the chapter well. So please watch it whenever you have the time so that uh, the, uh, it's uh, with the repeated hearing, the lesson is better understood and uh, with small dif uh, difficult words will be explained as I read again today as this is the final read of this chapter. Autobiography of a Great Indian Buster Which is the heaviest flying bird in India? Well, friends, it's me, the Great Indian Buster. I feel proud to be known as the Great Indian Buster. I have more than 30 different names in various Indian languages. In Marathi, I am known as Maldok or Hoom. I can weigh up to 18 kilos and can stand up to 4 feet in height, reaching up to your shoulders or even higher. I have got a long neck, brown wings, tall yellow legs, and a black cap on my head. A black cap on my head. My wife, Mrs. Buster, is smaller and slimmer than I am and her neck is not white. But I have heard humans say that we both are very impressive. Impressive means sabko acha lagna. Now, I live on grasslands and deserts along with my other friends including Sinkara, Black Buck and Larks. These are the different varieties of birds which are found in grasslands and in the deserts. Now, I eat everything including snakes, lizards, small fruits and berries and all sorts of insects. That's a very healthy habit so to eat everything. The grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items. When it starts raining, we all gather at our favorite grasslands where there are no people to disturb us. I perform a wonderful dance by gulping, gulping air in a special feathery pouch attached below my neck. Okay, this pouch helps me helps me to produce a resonating sound similar to the one produced by a cow. I dance in joy with puffed out feathers and cocked up tail and drop down wings. It helps me to impress my soulmate. You know that we birds lay eggs. So they are oviparous and our young ones hatch out of eggs. Mother Giabi, Mother Gib lays just one egg directly on the ground. We don't believe in building nests, but we have a special trick to protect our eggs from predators. Predators matlab inke egg ko jo khata hai. Like if I eat his eggs, then not eating, but I go and snatch the eggs, then I am a predator and they are the prey. So the eggs look like stone. Monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes and eagles are enemies of my eggs. So they are all the predators. And, and chick, but my wife protects the eggs from all of them. By the time our young ones hatches out, rains arrive. There's plenty of grass swarming with insects, fresh food for my family. Young ones of birds soon fly away from the nest. But a great Indian bustard mother and chick stay together for nearly one year. The chick learns many good habits 
from the Baba. You may have heard about a great friend of ours, Dr. Salim Ali. He had even suggested that we should even we should be given the status of the national bird of our country. But the honor went to our beautiful relative, the peacock. I'm happy to tell you that I am the state bird of Rajasthan. We have got 10 centuries for our protection, but sadly, our number is still going down. We used to live in all parts of India, but slowly the growing population of man pushed us away from more than 90% of our home regions. We are afraid of hunters who kill us for fun. We also die due to electric power lines that we can't see while flying. We are losing our homes. We are losing our homes. Today only 200 of us are left in the world. We need your support to love in order to survive. Survive matlab jine ke liye. Can you help us? You can write letters to your leaders and make an appeal to help us. You can make my drawing and submit to your teacher. You can discuss this with your parents. Can you see us at a sanctuary? Because now you will see us, you will not see us in other places. And who knows? If humans don't help us, none of us will be left on the, on the earth. You will only see us in pictures. Dr. Pramod Party. So this is what they have shown, the picture of the great Indian buster. The neck, the legs, the cap, the yellow beaks. Everything is described in the lesson. So please listen to this whenever you feel like so that you know and understand the lesson well. And I have already posted all the meanings, no uh, question answers, etc. I have you have to write that. Now, however, I will just discuss some important meanings. Pouch. It means a pocket-like space, a bag, a pouch is something like this. If this you take, for example, if you make it like this, this is called a pouch. Okay. Now, predators, animals that hunt, kill and eat other animals. As I told you, I give an example. Then, resonating, producing a loud, clear, deep sound continuously. That, that, not like that. This is called a resonating sound, which is very clear. It is deep sound. It is a loud sound. Okay.